that way. Oh no. Oh, that was bad. What did I do? I was trying to, um, all right, well, I guess I messed up. I was trying to, uh, I was going to chat with you guys as I drove home. Um, but apparently I can't do that because the way that my phone holder is set up, it's, um, it's not going to cooperate. But I wanted to share something incredible with you guys, and I don't think you're going to be able to see me without it being in landscape. So let me see if I adjust the steering wheel. No. No. <laughs> okay, so I'll just do this really quick before I start driving some more. So I was out uh, and about today getting some things done that I had to get done. I needed to do a few errands and drop off some stuff because I just completed one of the temp assignments that I had been on. And while I was out, I hope you guys can hear me because I'm not quite sure how I even just did this. I just was going to make a video for you and it was all of a sudden it was saying I was live. So I went out and I went to this, uh, this one little, you know, soup, they little, you know, uh, oh my goodness. I'm having a senior moment. You know, the things with, <laughs> like where all the stores are, a, a shopping outlet. And I had to stop by the bank. So I, hi, Nick, how are you? So can you hear me okay? I'm going to have to make this a little shorter because I thought I was going to be able to chat as I drove back. But I made a live by accident. So I had stopped in one of these chains just by accident it wasn't the right one that i needed to go to because i'm trying to get my ipad fixed for work with the with how bad things are right price wise i'm really trying to get things finalized that i know we have to have so i was repairing going to repair my ipad i pulled into the wrong complex and then i was like okay i needed to stop at the bank and they had a branch there so i stopped at this bank and as i'm coming out to my car i found an envelope in this envelope had money in it. Now, I know most people may not have done what I did, but I did. I went back into the bank with the envelope of money that was somebody's, it was somebody's. They took it out, obviously. This person handed me $500 just now because of doing that. So I just wanted to come on because you don't really know how powerful God can be and how things can can happen and how he could give things right back in ways that we don't even understand so I mean it would have been theft if I didn't return it it was right outside the door I mean I'm sure you know some, maybe somebody would have said thought finders keepers but that's not really how it goes you know you really should never do that but I just I couldn't believe it because I was like no absolutely not crazy and there was he was not going to take no for an answer so I just thought that was incredible and obviously it'll be of a huge help since I did just end this time this temporary job assignment and um, I don't know I hope this maybe helps some others you know keep a little positivity that even if for some reason you're having a hard time getting things that you need don't underestimate what God, or if you don't believe in Jesus and you believe in the universe and karma, you know, don't underestimate how that power of your energy and your positivity and your charity, no pun intended to my name, can actually come back towards you. So I just wanted to say that, and I, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Um, I hope you're having a blessed day. I'm trying to tie up loose ends. We have some really weird things happening I don't know if you're going through this but um, my husband and I are actually going back out to BJ's tonight but our local stores are limiting what you can buy again but now they're not just limiting it limiting it in what you can buy but the register is stopping somebody told me it's um, Walmart just started it last week because I have a good friend of mine that's wife works at Walmart and that it was 165 items and then the machine stops and only a manager is allowed to override it. But I had an experience and a good friend of mine that is now, she drives for Instacart. 
said that she had two places stop it at 60 items. And I'm sure if you know, if you go to a certain stores, 60 items, you know, if you're shopping for your family, not everybody shops every day, that's nothing. And the manager had to come over, override it, and check and ask her, you know, was this for her? And just weird stuff, very bizarre, very strange. Um, and I think that's concerning. I mean, I, I've, I've always said from the beginning, and I love you guys all so much, especially, you know, all of you that have been around for so long with me and followed me over here after YouTube got rid of me last year, um, that this whole Ukraine-Russia thing is going to come to an end with some sort of an agreement. I've always said that because my family is from all over there and there's corruption and all kinds of things in every place. What Putin's doing is wrong, though. Don't take me out of context. Um, and I think that's coming to an end. But there's some evil that hasn't discriminated in our country, obviously. And there's something very peculiar when they're limiting the amount of goods you can have without permission if they want to give it to you. And my friend that drives her Instacart was telling me for a while now that she gets a lot of runs for bakeries, restaurants, and there's been a few times it's even been cafeterias, um, you know, where she's being sent out to get, you know, like $50 worth of margarine or just bizarre things like that because their distributors aren't always able to supply them with what they need. And I can see if they're trying to stop that, but at the same time, not even really... I can't understand that because how the business is supposed to be open if they can't obtain what they need from their direct supplier or their wholesaler. But I don't think that's what it is, you know, because I don't know. I just think we got some weird stuff going on. And today it could be, you know, limiting items. Tomorrow it could be, no, you already shopped here this week. You know what I mean? So anyway, I wanted to say hi and much love, everyone. Keep praying and prepping. You know, little by little, whatever you can do. And um, I will talk to you soon. Now that I know I could live stream from the cell phone. That's pretty neat. I'll have to, I'll have to do this when I'm not in transit. <laughs> Bye, guys.